than you want. All right, so um, our beginnings, about 10 years ago, um, change of career, it made redundant um, to, the, to the joy of my wife, you know, spending too much time away from home and not, uh, not enough time helping her out with the children. So, <laughs> <laughs> so coming in from, uh, I was teaching in college and during the summer, but let, me, um, let me change the garage, which was at the back of the back of the garden, into a into a study area where um, where I could maybe continue the, the teaching and do some private tuition. So, with the help of a of a friend, um, we uh, converted my garage to an office, and that involved, would you believe it, the amount of work it took to convert a small twenty by um, 20 by 12 into um, from a brick building into a into a I say luxurious but a, a, a livable space involved stud work, insulating, soundproofing, plasterboarding, painting, and um, flooring. So all these things um, took um, was taken up in, in converting that. And then as soon as we finished. As soon as we've just about finished, we had our first contract. I think the, um, the laptop is, uh, is as old as the company. There you go. So, as soon as we finished, we had our first contract, which was uh, the neighbor's garage, so right next to ours. He saw what we did, but his was in such a state that we had to demolish it. And um, would you believe what that involved? It involved securing the site, it involved demolishing it, clearing the, the waste, and then we had to build it up from the start, which involved the laying foundation, Subcontracting, because I knew nothing about um, about that kind of work. Um, subcontracting what? Bricklayers, electricians. But it taught me about, uh, I did my first roofing and partitioning. Really, that is such a great, great fun, putting in divisions and creating doors. Um, but yes, and security and all that. So, so that was the first contract. What happened next? Okay, so that brings us up to date. Since then, I've been involved with quite a few um, projects. And which were working in lofts, laying um, flooring in lofts, um, working with ceilings, walls, and this is what we do today, floors, driveways, conservatories, we even do landscaping. And we could maybe put up your shed for you if you require that. And we also work in gardens. Press OK. Press OK. At the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Press OK. It's a really slow chip. I think this was um, one of the earlier um, Intel chips. You have to wind up. Okay, so you got the building of uh, a shed in a balcony. Yeah, right. So that sure. that's, that's the next slide. What what has Mr. T and the drone got in common? They hate flying. <laughs> <laughs> but if it comes to that, okay. So Mr. T and um, a, a drone machine. So one of the most uh, strangest request we've had to do. And your best referral I ever gave. And the best referral from Cairo. <laughs> <laughs> um, as we know, space is a problem in London. And um, near to Paddington, um, we had a request to put a shed on a first floor balcony. Not, 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 the, um, not the window balcony, but um, uh, it was a balcony. <laughs> so we're, we're, doing, we're doing this job, and um, the next thing, we see a, a drone coming up. So I'm thinking, do you know what? I think 
we're gonna be on um, what's that Mr. T show? Um, something about fools. What's it called? I've forgotten what, what it, it is. A show about uh, world's fools, craziest yeah. fools. Fools, yeah. World's craziest fools. I think. So I'm thinking. So I, I reckon I'm gonna be on there because you have a, a couple of builders put in a shed, which seems to be overhanging, um, 20 feet, 30 feet up in the air on a, on a on a on a landing there. But it, it turned out, and what we asked them, you know, you know, what are you doing? So they said they were inspecting the roofing. So I guess that is that is progress. So instead of putting scaffolds up and ladders to go and inspect these high buildings, they, they use drones now to, to see what the roofing is like. And, um, and it was true, they were inspecting the roofing, but for a moment I'm thinking, I'm gonna be on TV with these, as one of the world's craziest fools. <laughs> so, okay, so, right. So what we're looking for, that's, that's that's our scope of work nowadays. So we work with buildings. We don't construct it, but we can move things around and, and create a, a nice space for you to live in. So we're looking for residential clients, specific, um, predominantly. Um, I think we know enough about residential buildings to do a good job on them. But if you do know of any commercial clients who want their offices remodeled or new flooring put down, then please give us a call also. Um, in terms of referral, I think social media is a good, is a good way now. I, as you can see, my IT is about, this is about the limit. I can just, just <laughs> operate a laptop. But you guys are, are well versed in the latest technology, so um, you can um, help me out on that. Okay, and that's, that's my presentation. Any questions? How much time do we have left? Two and a half minutes left for questions. Yeah, there's a far will you go to do any work? All right, well, the furthest we've been is uh, Bedford, where we, um, where we converted the upstairs. We put in an extra room. We used one of the bedrooms to put a bathroom, because the bathroom was downstairs. We put it upstairs, and we converted the existing bathroom into a wet room downstairs. But yeah. Windsor, Bedford, Wimbledon. I prefer not to go south of the river, but if we have to, then we will. <laughs> what's wrong with south of the river? Yeah, yeah. south of the Thames. South okay, what's wrong with it? Nothing. Oh. It's just, uh, it's, it's just, you just new, don't like it. It's just a new, it's a new country. What I was trying to find is somebody had a job in Oxford. Did you go to Oxford? Yes, yes, we got a nice bid. Going in Oxford at the moment. Yeah, Oxford is good. Joseph, do you have a team of people that you work with that you employ or are you um, only when needed. Combined when needed. <laughs> Two of them. So all, all the work being done by you? Like the carpentry or whatever maybe the ceiling then? Um not, uh, not all the work. I can do it but you hire people. You can't yeah, you can't you can't do all the work. Yeah. And just to let you know that my, my mentor, um, my mentor, mentor, is that right? Who um, started off, helped me to start off. Um, he was in the building trade for many years. And um, I think I've got good trading from him. Yes. So Joseph, do you do your own plumbing? Do I? Do your own plumbing, what do you hire? Tell me um, I do plumbing up to a certain extent. What, wash basins and all that? Wash basins? Wash basins, yeah. Replace bathroom units, I can do. But obviously, signing off plumbing work, boilers, I, I no, don't no, touch. Yeah. And it was big after that. Uh -huh. Yeah. I was just going to say, my employers recently employed uh, Joseph's services uh, for our new offices that we're moving to. Um, and you mentioned you do commercial spaces, so that's one example. I just wondered if you could speak a little bit about that, because they're very thrilled with what he's done so far. Okay, I've got to sit down. Thank you, Madam Why don't you give him a testimonial so everyone is educated about what you did? But give him a big round of applause.